we are in meat. They, how many bones did they have? 25,000. Hola. Hola. We are coming to you from Lima. We just finished our tour of the San Francisco Basilica with the catacombs. So behind us is the building. Unfortunately, we couldn't take any photos or videos. Maybe we'll try to insert some pictures. If not, we will link below the website to the museum so you can go and look at things there. This is a San Franciscan convent and they actually still have Franciscans still practicing and living in here as well. So we couldn't tour everything, but it's a very big place, so we toured plenty. We are now going to go get some food because we're hungry and we'll tell you more about it. Kyle did a great job taking notes so he's got information to share and we'll just tell you more about our trip so far. But we just wanted to check in and show you around this square real fast. right across from Plaza de Armas, which is like their main square. And we are getting some food. It's been pretty silly walking around. Kyle sticks out very much. I'm sure I do too. So everyone wants Kyle, like, come come here, come eat this, or take this, or you know, you want this, you want this. And um, I think we're figuring out that if we just say, no espanol, um, Or just speak English around them, yeah, uh, that'll help. Instead of like actually communicating the little that we can. Um, we are here. I think that means it's a sandwich place. I think we're getting noodles and definitely some fries. Peru has over 3,000 kinds of potatoes. It's where potatoes are from, not Idaho. So anyways, I'm gonna let Kyle talk a bit about the Basilica San Francisco where we were at. He was taking some good notes for you, so. It's a bummer. They asked us not to take photos or videos. Some people still did. I took one photo. And there was a courtyard where we could take pictures. Their reasoning was, oh, you know, they're really valuable pieces of art. They want to preserve them. And, you know, we want to keep them valuable, so not take pictures. I'll really cut down on my notes, because mm -hmm. one, it was a little difficult to hear at times, especially in the beginning. Mm -hmm. the, the flooring, a lot of people's shoes would squeak and it was very loud and very hard to hear mm -hmm. um, and then people were also talking while she was talking and anyways so they still have Franciscans living there and um, they're still actually using the facilities and also still being buried in catacombs so they actually recently opened a new catacomb cemetery section and they had someone buried there just two months ago which was surprising I didn't realize that and the basilica itself was you know, pretty typical, it's Baroque style. It's very massive and I've been able to, like, I've been in Notre Dame and so it was cool because in Notre Dame I feel like you get to go through like the little temples on the sides. We were actually able to go up in the choir section and the chapel room is here which is very cool. Something I heard, it sounded like there was somebody else in the group that knew a little bit and, and I overheard, it sounded like um, there are multiple churches but there's only one catacomb and so these different churches would all have their, um, they would all use the same catacomb. And I think they were saying, so in this time period, all churches were cemeteries because that is how the colonials took care of their dead and that wasn't something that, that was done before that. And the catacombs in this particular convent were opened in 1947. Mm -hmm. And they, how many bones did they have? 25,000. Mm -hmm. And so, like we said, you can't take pictures down there, but it's very low ceilings, and there's just, you know, bones everywhere. Yeah. This was built in 1525. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, that's what the internet told me. And um, I believe there was an earthquake. Oh yeah, so this is something that I thought was very interesting, is that a lot of this stuff is the original, however there was an earthquake. I think it was around 1970, 1974, mm -hmm. there was an earthquake and some stuff was broken, some original art and, and things were broken. However, with the earthquake, also some things were discovered. Other rooms and artwork 
were discovered with that earthquake. I thought that was interesting. And um, as you go through the tour, you can kind of see there, they've kind of scraped away at some of the different wall textures. So you can see underneath there's tile, and then underneath that there's a mural. And so that was one because I saw it before she pointed it out. And then there's also parts, there are these murals up along um, the higher part of the wall, and some of the faces have been scraped off. And they don't know why. And they don't know like who those faces were. And some of them were also like kind of circled mm -hmm. and such. So that was really interesting. And they also talked about a lot of the materials used and there's a part that's adobe, adobo, adobe. Gracias. <laughs> we just got our fresas juice, strawberry juice. That was probably what was being blended. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm awesome. cold. A little bit. Sweet. So adobe and then sugar cane and some other material. That is delicious. I just want to let everybody know. Yeah, I thought that could be good. Some things to also highlight was right before we got in, somebody who was clearly not a tour person was offering us tours and then we go in and find the, the real tour and then as soon as we're done, um, a lot of people were selling stuff. They, they were right there at the door waiting for us. I thought that was pretty silly. And actually getting to the basic Basilica itself, there is so much construction. I had no idea. Our driver dropped us off blocks away. And so we tried to get some GoPro footage of what we were walking through because it was just, it was so crazy. So um, luckily we were able to find where we were going and then navigate back to Plaza de Armas, which is kind of where we are right now. And yeah, there's just a lot of construction going. I believe that we paid 15 soles each for the tour, and the tour was about an hour long, 45 minutes. And then they do have a little souvenir kiosk inside. Well, obviously, that's in, that's in every church, every monastery. I'm making a joke. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> Um, so anyways, we are going to eat, we'll show you our food when it comes, and then we're going to take pictures at Plaza de Armas, and then this evening we are meeting our friends at the fountains. There is a bit of a light show, and hopefully we'll be able to get there by ourselves, and then we'll come back and call the night. A lack of Spanish is really starting to hurt. <laughs> I think the, we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing okay, but the amount of focus that I, when trying to, yeah. It's What's making it hard, I feel like, is masks as well. It's yeah, tough. yeah. So, but we're doing well and we're having a good time, so we'll check in a bit. So we've got noodles and chicken. <laughs> Look at that. Papas. <laughs> the video of us eating. My family is interested in food, okay? It's hot, it's a little sour, but the fries. What do you think? Definitely different. Ooh! Mm. It's a very thin crispness, like a very thin on the outside.